Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Tofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Prey. Where, uh, well, the station is under attack, kind of. It's been, uh, there's been a hostile takeover by a man called Dahl, who's been working for our parents. And he's, uh, trying to hunt both me and my brother, well, Alex, down. So that means we, uh, well, we got a bunch of new, okay. We got a bunch of new side quests as well, and most of those point us towards the lobby. So before we head to the shuttle bay, where we actually need to go to take out Dahl, I'm gonna pay a visit to the lobby first. And that means I can actually go through the pond here, if I'm not mistaken. So if I go through here... Okay, so through this area we can quickly go through the main elevator and get back to the lobby. Nothing over here, so let's just go through and use the lobby. So the lobby, there's two things we need to do here. Either Igwe, well, Igwe has a plan to take out Dahl uh, peacefully, if I uh, understood him correctly. So let's open this up and head to the lobby itself. And then there's a guy who's actually stuck in the trauma center. I don't know how he could be stuck there, because we cleared out that entire area, I think, too full now. And there wasn't any closed off door anymore. We opened up everything over there, so not really sure what the problem might be. So I can't um, actually sneak while I'm in the elevator, so we need to do that now. But I feel like the operators might actually be able to deal with the um, Typhoon for us. So that means as long as I have my stun gun, I should be fine. So the lighting actually subtly changed in this area as well. It's a bit darker. Um, because the coral, that gives us a, a very nice contrast, um, I think. So Dr. Igwe is over there. The trauma center is over here on the left, if I recall. Yes, it is. So Luther Glass, who were you and how come we haven't seen you before? There we go. One military operator down and there was another one a bit Morgan? further. Yes, Luther, don't don't yell at me. Hey! Why is Luther Glass marked as hostile? And there we go. Double destruction over there and over there. So those guys are gonna continuously spawn as they they they're still doing. CN9 That's annoying. So, what? Stand clear of aperture. What happened to Luther Glass? Wait, what the hell? Um, Luther Glass corpse. Okay, so they just killed him. That's weird. Did I miss something there? I try to be as sneaky as possible. Survive Dahl's operator ambush. Oh. So, oh. So Dahl just put uh, an already dead guy over here and the operator was mimicking its voice. And by the way, it calls itself a black box operator. So those were the operators that were equipped with a Q-beam that we learned about in the black box project. So that little side quest is done. Now let's head all the way up to my office again and talk to Igwe, him, who might have another plan for us. This room is again mysteriously untouched. Hi. There you are. Morgan, I was worried Dal or his rescue team had intercepted you. They are NCN9 black box operators, not a rescue team. Rescue is not among their list of commands. January, not now. Yes, of course. But Dal, his arrival may help us, as long as you have not killed him. You see, Dal is a recipient of several neuromods, a standard array of combat, tactics, interrogation mods. As I'm sure you know, your father, the board, is very thorough. Dr. Igwe, please present your conclusion to Morgan. Igwe, if there is a point. Ah, uh, well, yes. You see, Dull's mods are early C-series betas and vulnerable. As such, he has old-school thinking on some matters. If we remove them, he may forget his mission here. 
yet we would still have access to the shuttle and a way home, provided his piloting knowledge remains intact. It's a risk, but worth taking, I think. He'll have to be subdued, of course. I'm afraid that task falls to you. There is no one else alive on the station who can pilot the shuttle. It's worth a try, and there's been enough killing. Indeed, so Michaela is still in the corner over there, so that seems to be the non-lethal option to deal with Dahl. Morgan, mm -hmm. I've been thinking about what you've done, mm -hmm. what you're doing. Mm -hmm. We all mm -hmm. must act according to our nature, no matter what the psychologists and priests say, and your nature. I think I was right before. You are like a rat, resourceful, sly, burdened with a kind of Morgan. pestilence of the mind. This station was your laboratory, and the experiment was a failure. And, of course, sadly, you know what happens to the rats when they are no longer needed. They are obviously killed off, but let's use the recycler for a minute. I actually have nothing to recycle for once, oh, aside from what was still in there, apparently. Some useless exotic material, but I am gonna make some more uh, stun gun cartridges to disrupt their batteries, because I'm gonna need a lot of those. There we go, up to 5.6 batteries, that should be fine for now. And now we can go back out and try to find the shuttle. Well, we found the shuttle bay before by accident, that was one of the areas that we uh, didn't access before. Uh, we never really needed to access before. Uh, the only thing I need to do is find the closest airlock. Um, the game is probably pointing me in the right direction there. The command shuttle is supposed to be over there. That is true. Oh yeah, this is the shuttle bay as well, but I don't think I ever opened up this door from this way. Yeah, okay, let's open it up and travel. So, lots of red lights. I'm actually gonna crouch down. I feel like I was already being detected by something. And we can actually see the command shuttle now. This entire bay has been opened up now. Which is cool. I can see a few of those... Yeah, so they're at the end of the hallway. And they probably kinda spotted me there. I can move to the side without them spotting me. Should be fine. Requesting new operator. Okay, so they keep spawning more, so I'm gonna... Move to the side here immediately. Okay. So I think one of the turrets is actually firing at it. Which is interesting. And I feel like Typhon will probably be completely out of the picture now. So. We need to subdue him. He's probably on the command shuttle. I'm actually wondering whether he brought more soldiers or not. And another interesting thing is that he actually... Well, his name is interesting. So Dahl, he's the military guy, the, the soldier archetype. And Dahl is also the name of the weapons manufacturer in Borderlands that has the most militaristic features. Uh, so that's the command shuttle, but he's protected by turrets and drones. Oh, Typhon is definitely still a problem. But I'm assuming that thing is not going to like the presence of the... The operators, yeah, he's definitely fighting them. But he probably has the upper hand there. Full take phantoms are probably really, really well equipped to deal with operators since the electric energy is just gonna kill them all. Or he's gonna kill himself if he keeps uh, triggering those uh, explosives. I'm not gonna go down then. So this guy is not gonna spot me unless I have it in range. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on? Oh crap. The Voltaic just... Did the Voltaic accidentally hit me? Oh wow. Okay, the Phantom... That's a Phantom. So there definitely are still Typhoon around here. But he took care of most of the enemies there. There we go. There we go, I can deal with that. Oh god, uh, back to the stun gun immediately. And that's the command shuttle. So I would think I should probably save up first, because I've opened up most of this area, which gives me the advantage here. I'm going to save up. There we go. So this thing is actually openable. Hello? 
This seems way too easy. Um, so that says please wait. Hmm. Doesn't seem like Dahl is actually on board the ship. Interesting. I'm definitely gonna take those. I'm gonna eat something as well. What was that? Did somebody leave some booze around here. There we go, some food in my belly. And we can take a lot more food around here. And another Nero mold. Although at this point I don't really need any <laughs> anymore because I feel like I've probably gathered a lot of them in the in the last few episodes as well. So if I check that. Yeah, we're at six again, but do I have anything to spend that on anymore? I could just yeah, I could technically just go with stamina and toughness. Or just toughness and yeah, just let's do that. So health up to 150. Um, and then the rest we can start seeing. So increase your health to 200 or to 300 eventually. Well, better we can spend those, uh, that we spend those neuromods on something. Um, should I actually? I'm actually going to close this up for now. Just so I don't get ambushed. Okay. This seems like a trap. But this... Aha. Uh -huh. Dahl's call cargo hold. So that's probably where he's at. I can't hack a lock like that, which is probably on purpose. And it's the back of the ship. But in a spaceship, I would assume that there's no other way of getting in there. Oh wow, I can actually jump really high since that last update. Oh great, uh, so I can get on top of the shuttle, but... Hmm... No actual way of getting in there, I think. Because even from these engines, although... Although, although, if I would drop down further... Okay, so apparently I dropped down low enough to now hear the... Hear the Voltaic Phantom fighting. Yeah, so it's definitely fighting off those other guys. But now I dropped down too low. Can't access the ship from underneath, so... I'm just gonna have to... This area looks a lot different now that the lights are on. The constant spawning of those military operators is more annoying than uh, anything else. Because they can just make more. But there's no change. The game actually keeps pointing me towards the command shuttle. And that's a Voltaic Phantom, phantom wreaking havoc downstairs. But the command shuttle. You need to find clues here about the whereabouts of the tech officer. And of course, there was this terminal here. I completely missed that. Mission parameters for immediate dispatch. Transstar security clearance level Alpha Sigma required for access. Let's check that. The repo man. Commander Dahl, this is William Yu, acting chairman of the Transstar Board of Directors. I will need your credentials to authorize this mission. Of course. My authentication sign is Zeta Invictus Emperor Tangerine. Sign checks out. Good morning, Director Yu. Shuttle is hot and holding orbit. Awaiting mission parameters. You must secure every piece of Cobalt Clearance Level technology and research aboard Talos-1. Then eliminate all Transtar personnel. All personnel? No survivors. It's your show. And their funeral. Payment will be deposited into six separate Benelux accounts. After you transmit evidence of success. I leave my operator feeds on. Just keep watching. We strongly advise deploying your technical officer to a station router inside the firewalls first. Ideal site would be psychotronics. Yes, I've seen the schematics, Mr. Yu. Goodbye. You will destroy this transmission after... Okay. So that's harsh. Our father just ordered us killed. Um, including our brother and everybody. And yeah, they, they, they dragged Belgium into this, the Benelux account, so Belgium, Netherlands and Luxembourg account. That's, I'm, I feel insulted all of a sudden. But, so that means that we now know that we need to head to Psychotronics, so that's why this was so easy. We just needed to head in to know the location of the tech officer. So there is somebody else on board of the ship. Some other person. Um, 
Uh, I think I'm just gonna shoot you. Is that okay? Oh wow, I, I do no damage on those operators with anything other than the stun gun. Am I glad I upgraded that to the max? And that thing is also almost dead. So the Phantoms did a nice job. I should let them fight between themselves. So Psychotronics it is. I'm told my ops are hidden as an HR expense in the Transtar books. It's true. I do solve people problems. Your workmates hiding in the cargo bay are going to suffocate in a few minutes. Maybe you can save them. But you'll have to come out of the walls, Rat. Life support. The clock is ticking. Oh, wow. Okay, 15 minutes. Morgan. Crap. Dal's cut off oxygen to the cargo bay. There's nothing I can do from here, and none of the doors are responding. Atmosphere controls are in life support. If you can help, do it quick. Or this is the last time we'll be talking. So, life support, life support, life support. Um, I have the home Salazar's field right to be alarmed. here. Though her assessment is mistaken, Dahl is manipulating the oxygen and nitrogen mixture. With nitrogen flooding into the atmosphere, anyone in the cargo bay will asphyxiate far more quickly than had he simply cut the oxygen. I suspect they'd already be dead if Dahl weren't trying to use them to manipulate you. So, I'm pretty sure I, I'm able to save them in that time, so I already wasted a minute, but... I think the fastest way is probably through the elevator, yeah, so... Um, let's go through the elevator, and then we can go all the way down to life support, I think that's one of the options, yeah, okay. So we're heading down there, we're prioritizing the people, because this is a playthrough where we don't kill anybody, so... Technically we wouldn't be killing them ourselves, but it's... Uh, an indirect kill, so I don't want to have that on my conscience either. So, um, move, move, move. Yes, okay. There we go. And I'm starting to realize that we know exactly what to do. That thing just died, so I'm assuming there's Typhoon around. But I have the air mixture regulator. I made that a long time ago. And I think I'll be able to use that to fix um, atmosphere control. Oh, gold, there's a teleport here. Um, hi. Okay, so I can just head through here, the, the airlock completely blew, but why is the Typhoon not attacking me? That's a bit weird. Oxygen flow control. There might be Typhoon here, but I don't really care. I'm just going to save those people. Oh. So there we go, we can still easily kill those. And Dahl is actually right here. Oh wow! Morgan, you did it. What the? I'll arrange transport with the medical operator. Then we can see about removing his neuromod, and hopefully, gaining a shuttle in the process. Okay, so he actually pulled out one of the air mixture regulators, and I made one. There we go. So we fixed that as well. I can actually can I put that back in? No. Morgan, the air's flowing again. I can breathe. And I hope this means Dal can't. Thank you. A little longer and... Never mind. Elazar out. So we could have solved this in a number of ways apparently. So we could fix the one that was down here, the damaged one. Or we could uh, take one from the power plant or the air mixture regulator. Or probably any of the other rooms here. But this is why this room was not available. Now, I also took out Dahl, because apparently he's right here. So Dahl's cargo holds, shotgun shells, and another pistol. I can probably carry him. But I want to be careful that I don't kill him. What did Igwe say? I probably need to carry him all the way back to the, the shuttle bay. And the tech officer is supposed to be in psychotronics. Wait, what do I need to do? I don't know. It says that I need to wait for further instructions. So I'm going to leave Dahl here and make a separate save. So there we go. So now we can go to Psychotronics and try and fix, um, well, get that technical guy and take him out. Well, the same way with the stun gun. Nice Technopath. Good Technopath. I'm not, I'm not attacking you Technopath. Why isn't he? This is weird. 
Can I get close? Why isn't he reacting to me? This is weird. Um, are the Typhoon not actually hostile to me anymore? Is this thing... Or is my style so good that they don't notice me? No, no. He's absolutely fine with me now. That is... Disconcerting. I don't know if this is a bug or if this is story related somehow. We'll... I guess we'll see. So let's head back up and... The bias frost is supposed to be in this area as well. That is interesting. So this is Tobias Frost and he has another transcribe and a psychoactive particle injector. Okay. You wanted to speak to me? Yes, I'd like to arrange a time to oversee installation of a special particle injector in the water treatment facility. Hang on, you want me to do what now? I've already confirmed the inlet and outlet fittings are to spec. And just what precisely is this thing supposed to inject into our water supply? I'm not at liberty to say. Uh-huh. Well, then, we have a problem, Tobias. Dr. Kelstrup has already seen and approved it. I'm going to need to see a signature from Alex or Morgan or something like that. But, so, until I see ink on the dotted line, you'll just have to keep showing your special injector to Dr. Kelstrup. Okay, and I'm I'm agreeing with uh, with Mr. Frost here. I'm not gonna inject psychoactive particles into the water. That seems like a bad thing to do. So let's get that back officer. I do love the way how my uh, my exploration really paid off. Dahl was really really cocky to come here and try to beat me at my home turf. I know everything there was to know. I know about all the areas, I've explored them before and I feel like I heard Typhoon running around. But, 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 we also know exactly what to do now. We need to head to Psychotronics and take out the tech officer. And uh, Psychotronics is right over there, even though without the quest marker I would have known. And over here. Okay. So he's hiding out in Psychotronics, so I'm guessing that's inside of the actual area of Psychotronics because we're going through a lot of the areas here. No, no, I want to go all the way down. I have a really floaty jump with the last upgrade, by the way. But, 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 the tech officer. We've been going from one area to the other. Dr. Yu, Dr. Igwe, we have this subject, uh -huh. Dal, and his life signs are stable. Thank you. We are prepping him in the Neuromod division now. Come as soon as you can. Alright, so he's in the Neuromod division. We still need to take out the um, tech officer first. But yeah, we've been going through a lot of the areas right now. And luckily we all... Wait, security office. That would be obvious that he's over there. That would make this really, really easy. Because I've opened this up before. Security check scan online. He's not here. Okay. Let's just keep pushing forward and see if we can find them. But yeah, I've been going for over 40 minutes now and I feel like this episode, to me at least, has been uh, mostly loading screens. Because the loading times are quite significant. So that's a science operator, they're fine. And I'm guessing that is here to divert me from the noise of the actual problem. Oh, are you fucking serious? It was here somewhere. I know it can't teleport, so it should be here physically. There it goes. Oh, this one had backlash. So every time I shot it, I got damaged. But with my extra health, that's not really a problem. I should actually fix my suit up. And heal back up to full. I'm just going to go back to the disruptive stun gun. Because I know that the drones will probably be the more dangerous ones. Was that corpse here already? Steven Mueller. Probably was. Okay, so there's another. How did he know that I was there? That's even the olds a bit. Let's kill that thing, and then the... 
Wow, the military operator got a boost from the poltergeist. Oh, there's another one. I think I killed it. Okay, so there were two poltergeists. Three. Definitely three. I think that's that. Okay. Okay. But that's what I'm talking about. We're experienced at this point. We know what to... Oh. And we actually even know where the test officer is. Because he's... The tech officer. Because he's hiding out in the... Uh, the officer... The office of Calstro. Hi. And then the mimic. I saw the mimic as well. I'm just gonna... Yeah. There we go. Plenty of shotgun shells. Let's grab the stun gun. Because the tech officer is probably gonna be a man. Or not. All major servers and terminals are locked down. Rip and intercept protocols are in operation. Searching access patterns within the last three hours. Progress estimate 63%. That third is Resuming. not hostile. So I'm just gonna make the loop here because I know that's fake glass. And the tech officer is right around the corner. Goodbye. Okay, and the airlocks are back open. Doors are working again, Morgan. Nice work. I'm taking what's left of my crew to the atmosphere controls in life support. We're going to clear out Dal's shit can operators and make sure there are no more mishaps with the air on this station. There we go. So we cleared out everything. Dal populated his entire crew with customized operators. He made the mistake of hanging his hopes on a machine. Flesh and blood is messy, Morgan, but it's the only thing that matters in the end. Well done. The upload just kicked in. Meet me in the operatum. We have important work to do. So now... Alex is ready to meet him in the Arboretum. So it's Arboretum, now I know how to pronounce that. But I'm guessing this is the choice. Either we meet with Igwe... Or we meet with Alex. And I'm guessing we're going to get a choice. Because we need to use those keys in the power plant. Which we won't be able to do with Alex. So I think I'm going to just go to Alex to get his arming key. And we'll decide what to do with that afterwards. The more I'm thinking about it. We can probably do both. So if we... I think we should probably go to Igwe first in the Neuromult Division. Because right there we're just going to reconfigure Dahl's Neuromolds. So we can get people out. So we can pilot the shuttle and free everybody, get everybody off the station. So that seems like a priority before we go and do anything with Alex. Because Alex is the key to destroying the station. Which is something I really, really want to avoid doing. So the Neuromod Division is actually right on top of Psychotronics. So if we just take the stairs up, go outside of the room and take the stairs to the right, we can actually go to the Neuromod Division right here the footage isn't sped up by the way this is me running at my top speed right now so need way oh gold um ow okay you shot first let me remind you that you shot first technopop crap damn that really really hurt so yeah, Technopod right where we started and Igwe is upstairs. Um, I could go the normal way or... Yeah, I have everything open now. I'm assuming the amount of enemies will be limited and I can go through the window here. I got up like that. I don't know if I need to be stealthy. There were signs of military operators, but I would think that Igwe and friends are fine, right? And there we go. Dr. Yu. Morgan. I was afraid you wouldn't make it. The subject... Dahl has been... secured. I believe I've isolated the correct neuromod. It is essential we say as little as possible of what has happened on the station and focus on the situation. Dahl, memory serves, should resort to field training and react accordingly. He was never one to question orders. Ready when you are, Morgan. Remember, if this works, say nothing. Okay. 
activate the neuromult removal process. I'm just going to save before I do that. I just want to be sure there's a lot of the line. This is probably very close to the ending of the game. When extracted, Dao's memory should revert back to the inception date. And he should forget his assignment here. So surgical procedures, we saw that if before. If you're worried about the Geneva Protocols, you have my word. I will say nothing about who performed the procedure. I am at risk as well, you know. Um, let's engage a surgical harness. Just to lock him in place. And then perform the neurotomy. Dr. Yu? Ready when you are. Patient neurectome not up to date. Neural scan, okay. Let's check that. And then... Neuromod, so Walter Dahl, aptoregressive neurotomy. Neuromod SKU if you and are Mistis. having second thoughts, performing the extraction can't set us back any more than we already are. Except for time. The patient connectome must be updated with a recent neural scan. Okay, we did just that, so now... Oh god, that looks painful. This never happens. We got a trophy for that. What? Who are you? Morgan? Your father's... been asking about you. And Alex. I was supposed to report to him about her retrieval after modding up. Where am I? Why am I restrained? Commander. Doll. I am Dr. Igwe, chief physician here. You've... I've seen your face in the company directory. Alex's pet. The discredited parapsychologist. Ah. Commander Dahl, you've suffered a severe head injury as a result of a crisis here on the station. We need to evacuate at once, but we... we couldn't leave without you. Are you able to pilot a shuttle? What? Yes, of course I can pilot... Wait, what emergency? Is this Argus installation? Where's Casper? I'm afraid there's no time to explain. We need to get to the shuttle bay and prepare for departure. Transtar mandate. Doctor, you can confirm. Of course. Morgan, you look like shit. This seems to be working. All right, let's get Daddy's precious child off the station. Or Transtar will black box me. And Just need to the door check opens. Right. Wouldn't want our pilot to faint. There's nothing wrong with me. Morgan, we're in life support now. We'll meet you there. It's Morgan. all clear. Air's normal across the board. I lost some good people fighting the black boxes. And Dal wasn't here. If you see him before I do, make him pay. Elazar out. Well, we're gonna need him, so Elazar is alive and saved a few people. It's by design Neither that I can predict what you're going to you do fairly up. often. And yet, this turn of events with Dahl, I'm impressed and surprised you've managed to find a way to get remaining crew off the station. Why does she still sound... She's surprised, but not impressed. She's surprised because she still expects us to kill everybody. So I'm just going to leave that military operator over there. So now, um, Igwe and Dahl are going to meet up at the shuttle bay, I presume? That leaves us with only one thing to do before we head back to the shuttle bay, and that's to talk with Alex. So, two loading screens and an elevator ride later. We're back here. We're back in the Arboretum. I do not care about you, my little friend. I still care about my brother, though, so let's head up. All the military operators seem to be disabled now that we've taken care of Dahl and his tech uh, operator. So that means there's nothing left to do but to talk... Is he outside? He seems to be outside. To Alex. Oh. What the hell is this? The keys to the kingdom. Oh, hi, brother. I promised you my arming cape. All I ask is you hear me out first. 
And you can blow Talos one to pieces if that's what you think is best. I don't think you'll do it. I know. Because I used to think we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me. You showed me anything was possible, even if the price was steep. That part of you is still in there. We can make history, Morgan. Not those leeches on the Transtar Board of Directors, not Mom and Dad. You and I. Just like we planned. We got the data to confirm what you suspected. And Carl is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message? And who is listening to it? I think you know. Ever since we first tested the Typhon Neuromods, you've known. This fabrication plan is for the Null Wave device prototype you conceived. It will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Take it. Okay. And the army key, like I promised. What? Morgan! What the? 